Hey guys, this is ChrisLink.com again with another tutorial. This is Chris Link uh, doing the tutorial today. Um, we got a pretty simple, basic tutorial for today. It's on Pro Engineer here. Um, a lot of work or corporate places use is something you might want to get into if you're into computer drafting. I'm currently uh, in a computer drafting class at school, so I've gotten a little bit of a little bit of basics to us, and I'd like to let you guys know. Um, in the future here, maybe in a week or so, we might get someone who's been working on this for a whole semester from our school, school, and maybe he can really get in depth with you guys on this program. So anyways, we're going to pop this open. I double click here, but I already got it open due to it can be slow, guys. First thing, you're, if something's going to pop up, it's going to ask you to find a directory. You're going to want to do that. That might be slow. Now you're going to get this PTC site when it's open. First thing, when you guys install this or download it, make sure you've made an account on the PTC website. It's going to ask you that, and that's your username and stuff. We're currently using the 3.0. Um, yeah, we don't have the best one, 4.0 or 5.0. It is out, but it's like beta, but you got to kind of search that yourself. But let's uh, get to it. First things first, you guys see how I did that? You see these little two arrows? I'm not sure if you can see them or not to the left. You can see them right here. My mouse is around. You just pop that in. And uh, this right here, it, it'll go away too. You can pop that in too, but we well, could just click Control N, or I'll do it for you guys. I'll just come up here to File and click New. And we're just going to call it Part 1. I currently have my stuff like this, just Part 1. You guys might want to put your initials or something. Blah, blah, blah. So, Part 1, hit OK. You get something like this, you know, it's just like your data plane, kind of, but uh, you, you're going to get something like this. Now, you see here, you can twirl this thing around. I might not have the graphics as high as they were before just because this is a very ungraphical program, so we're not dealing with high stuff. Now, to get back, you can either hit Control D, it'll bring it back to this, or let's screw it up again. Let's just throw that there, or you can go up to File. Or no, it's view, orientation, standard orientation. As you see here, it's control D. So you click that, bingo. Now, why don't we make a box? Let's teach you guys how to make a box. Let's go over here. Uh, forgot what the button's called. But if you guys saw how I did that, let me cancel this. Let me show you. It's, it's blue. You can see it looks like it's showing depth here. Um, Okay, we'll click that. It's going to ask you to find placement. Or it's going to ask you to pick a wall. So you're going to click placement and then select one item. You're going to want to define that. And we'll just click top. Can you see here? You can go over here and type top, but we're just going to click top. And you'll notice it automatically put that in over here on this window. See that? So then you're just going to hit sketch. There you go. Now, you might, you could turn this with your little middle button on your mouse, you can turn it. I'm not going to do that. I will once I make the object. Well, we're just going to make a square. This is like paint. Paint. If you guys are good with paint and stuff, kind of, or Photoshop, you got your squares, you got your circles, arches, lines, um, pretty much everything. Straight lines, you know, pointers. We're just going to make, we're going to make a box here. So we're just going to see create rectangle. You're going to want to come here. And you guys will notice that it says just L1. Do you see that? Boom. L1 pops up. That's saying both walls are the same. But we're not going to do that for right now. We're just going to make like a rectangle to teach you guys that. So you're going to click. You come back up here to your sketch item. Or uh, well, that's what it's called. But your pointer tool. And uh, you're just going to want to change. We'll do like a 5 box. There we change that to 5 inches. You're going to come down here, click the dimensions of that, double click it, change that to 5, there's your wall. Now you saw when those L1s pop up, you normally would only have to do that to one wall, but we're just making this nice and easy here, and um, yeah, that's what you do there, and then you're going to want, that. that's your box guys, this is your box. Now, like I promised guys, I'm going to zoom out here, and this is what happens, That see, this is how you know it's 3D, you see how it's got your XYZ coordinates. I maybe make this look really confusing, guys, but it's not. You come over here, hit the check mark. There you go. That something's wrong here. 
Oh, yeah, see. It looks all messed up, but as you notice right here, it's 26 inches over there. So we're going to click this. Okay, guys, this is what we got from that, that little thing there. Now I'm going to show you again. Now we're going to pop, we're going to pop this over here open again. We're going to teach you how to do that all over again, because you got to get to the basics here. So if you're watching over here too, you can pop this out and you go to extrude, because that's what we just made. We just made an extrude. That's what that little block over there is called. We're going to pop this back in there again, and we're going to do it all over again. Let's hit control D. Control D, guys, that brings us back up, resets your orientation. Okay, set extrude, hit placement, hit define, hit top, because that's what we're doing is top, and hit sketch. So that's pretty simple, you guys saw that earlier. Now, <clears throat> we're going to make a square. Now we're going to show you the L1 feature this time. There, we hit L1. So, <clears throat> you click that, and there you see now it's always L1. Now you'll notice it's just one, one little diameter. So you just, you only have to do it once. So, and I guess in some cases it could increase the speed. Now we're going to want to set the depth of this because if you notice it's all screwy. We're going to want to set the depth to five inches as well. Click out of the box. Well, we're going to hit the little green check mark down here saying we're done. And that's it. Now you click out. And there's your box. Yeah. That's your box, guys. That was pretty cool. Now, uh, maybe you guys uh, want to get more into it. I'm going to quickly teach you how to put a hole into it. So hit Control D. And by the way, you can click these off up here. And, I mean, there you go. There's your box. Now we're going to do a hole. So we're going to click this over here. I think it's actually just called the hole feature. I can't remember. We're just going to click a placement again down here. We're just going to click a wall we want it on. We're going to drag a little, di uh, uh, I guess I call them legs. There we go. Selected that wall. you got to make sure, guys, when you do it, you have to do wa two walls. There, you see how it grappled onto two walls? So this is a 5-inch block. We're going to want 2.5 inches as your diameters for those. That puts your block perfectly in the middle. You see down here where my mouse is? The offset well, is set. Now... There's two ways you could do this. You can see this right here. It will make the hole go all the way through. Now, you could do this too and just set the hole to 5 inches. We'll do that. But both ways will get you your hole. Now, we're going to set the diameter to 2.5 because I want a 2.5 hole. Now, if we were to change this, you can see, boom, look at that. That's, that's really cool. Now, we're going to do something I wasn't taught in school, but we're just going to teach you how to do rounded corners. We were taught in school, but I'm going to teach you how to do it on the inside of this hole. So, um, you don't have to do a placement on this. You just select the walls that you want a rounded edge on. There you go. Now, we're going to set the rounded edges on that to 0.5. Point, where's, okay, point five. There we go. Uh, hit that. And wow, let's see here. So there's your point five. It's, something's looking wrong. Yeah. We're going to do that again here, guys. I guess as you can see here. The difference between a 0.5 wall and then that 0 0.10 wall. So once again, I guess we're going to go back here. Now you see it, hole 1. That's, that's your hole. And then round 1, that's your round edges. We're going to go ahead and delete those. See? People make mistakes. Now you, can, you make mistakes even in tutorials. But Alright. Let's do this again. Well, that's hole. We don't want to create a hole. We're going to make a rounded edge. You see, it even looks shows a rounded edge over there. I'm going to click the edges that you want rounded. Now you see here, it's actually 0.5 now. It's set. We're even going to do the inside wall. And hit the little green check. Now that's what you got right there. That's, that's pretty cool. Oh, that's weird. Missed the wall somehow. Now you'll notice it can even do a, it. 
As you notice, it just did that whole wall. It can do that too. We're rounding this whole cube. So there's a, uh, I mean, this program, guys, this is like a really fancy program that I would like to see everybody get into. This is really fun. Not only fun, it's like it can really help you down the line. But as you can see here, we're making a block in like 30 seconds. There you go. There's your little cube. You can see this is the bottom. This is top. That's because that's where that goes. Now, I'm going to teach you something else. Something else. You guys might want to be taught. Um, 